Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name's Alexis and welcome to another save file overview. So this is actually a save file of just redoing Willow Creek. So if you are someone who loves to play in Willow Creek but is getting tired of seeing the same old townies and the same old buildings, then this is going to be the save file for you. So this is CC free, which you can see the description here but there are a lot of packs and expansion packs being used so keep that in mind when you are downloading it but yeah i am super excited to get into this let's relax and play some sims so starting off just the look of this world alone has me so excited this is definitely going to be like one of my favorite renditions of willow creek it just looks so simple and homey and when i say simple i don't mean that in a bad way i just think that this is this is like my style of playing the sims like that realistic look i don't like it too extravagant i don't like it too whimsical i love this um so yes this is blythe harbor a rendition of willow creek i am so excited to get into this i'm loving the look of this park here this is the acadia creek park and i love how there is different lots down here now so instead of just having what we had we had like what we had like a museum and a library with a regular willow creek we ha we now have a spa we now have a restaurant and then we now have a bakery so places that your sims can actually go and interact we even have a cafe over here so we're not just limited to this and i will definitely be checking out these adorable looking houses Ooh, i love this one i love how the name is fitting too it's like right by the river so it's called riverside georgian i can't talk i can't i can't say that i'm just not gonna try this one looks really interesting too i have never really seen a home with a roof like that so i'm super excited to check that out um, as you guys know, I always like to check out the parks first, so we are going to check out the Acadia Creek Park. Alright, so I put all of the walls up and just look at this. Look at this pool area. Look at this like little section that's kind of heading into the pool area. It's almost like you have to like stop here first and like pay the entrance fee or something like that to the pool area this just looks like something you would find in real life like something you would find in my hometown um this is probably the area that bathrooms are at yes um and i love the gnomes everywhere we have like a gnome over here and then we have gnomes in this pool area in the middle i love this i love the diverse seating too we have a chess table over here we have lounge or not lounge chairs uh like i don't know fold out chairs and then these wooden chairs and then we even have a little cooler i love how they added a hot tub too so we don't just have a pool we have a um a different option i just saw this over here they added these little miniature boats to this pond feature over here with this fountain in the middle i think that's so funny there's even a place to paint here at the very front of the park i love what they did with this front section here um there's a little sign right here and there is a well and just the landscaping is so beautiful over here we have a section to grill there's even a sink to wash your dishes and two more coolers and this area i was so excited to look at it looks like they have made their own personal tree house i absolutely love the creativity with this this is insane um, we have some monkey bars over here we have a pirate's chest down here this is just decor of course um, but i think it's so imaginative and so adorable and of course we have the pirate ship that the kids can play on but yeah your kids can actually even come up here in the treehouse sorry that it's kind of all over the place um let me see if i can put this down a little bit yeah your kids can come in here there's a tree in the middle um they put a planter box around that and that looks so realistic as well but yeah your kids can come up here play a little bit um so it is completely playable that is how you make a treehouse in the sims i love it and then back in the back here 
We have a little horseshoe or a game of horseshoes. We have what is meant to be a place to have a picnic over here. This is just so adorable. I, I think this is probably like by far my favorite park I have seen built because it just looks so realistic and there's so much to do. Alright, next up I wanted to check out this greenhouse cafe. I believe on the map this is actually where the goth household was, uh, but now it is replaced with this adorable greenhouse cafe. This definitely looks like a greenhouse. It's something that I definitely could never build. Like this is so beautiful. Let's go inside and see what all is inside. All right, so it is definitely very modern, very elegant. Well, I wouldn't say modern. I think it's just elegant. Yeah. Um, we have some bathrooms in the back here and of course a place where you can order coffee, pastries. I love the addition of this fountain so you can like put some chocolate in there if you want some chocolate strawberries. And then we even have a place for uh, your sims to come and sit in the back here. There's a snail sculpture over here that your sims can come look at. So it's almost like a little museum too. I believe this um, garden area was made with the romantic garden stuff pack. I believe that's what the stuff pack is called. I you'll have to forgive me if i'm wrong i literally never play with that pack but this is beautiful this is so so beautiful and this definitely looks like a greenhouse 100 percent i kind of would have loved if they had um also a community garden here as well i feel like that would have been a good addition like it's like a cafe slash community garden um but i love this so so much i love how they added more trees to the lot just to make it kind of match with um this right here i believe these were here unless they added these with the tool mod but no i just love how everything is like blending together perfectly and it doesn't look out of place i'm super excited to get into these builds this just looks absolutely beautiful i definitely love willow creek for the louisiana new orleans style it has but this is something different and i absolutely love it as well it's like this cute little quaint town vibe i don't know that's what it's giving me and i love it so i am here at the brums field brum fields bakery um and it is actually also a little bookstore over here which i don't know if you can purchase books but you can definitely come in here and read some books um is there a way you can purchase books i think so right yeah yes this is a register i think i don't know i'll have to come and check this out off camera when i'm playing in it um but this is definitely a bakery where you can come and get baked goods it looks like we have tons of stuff in here we have creme brulee sorry about the weird text um we have berry macaroons wait i didn't know all of this stuff was in the game i literally didn't know you could make this stuff in the game i didn't know you can make macaroons in the game wow i really need to cereal topped donuts when did we add cereal topped donuts to the game i did not know that at all bacon wrapped donuts you guys I have the biggest sweet tooth ever and um, oh, we even have some crab cakes, wow, and salmon croquettes. I mean, that kind of makes sense since it's like Blythe Harbor, you know, harbor. It's kind of meant to be a, maybe not like a fisherman's town, but it still has that vibe going on. Um, I do, I do like that. And then we have an outdoor seating area out here. Everything just looks so cute and quaint and realistic. That's what I love about it. It's just so realistic. I feel like it's something that's not too crazy, not too whimsical. It's something that you would see in real life. I really, really, really like this bakery. Um, there is a place to cook back here. So if you wanted to like literally buy this lot, have your Sims own this bakery, it's already ready for you to go. There's even a place to make some coffee and tea as well. I love this. Oh, and what else do we have over here? Oh, we have just cakes, brownies, pies, apple pie. I have the biggest sweet tooth 
ever. And I love how they organized it. Like we have cupcakes over here. Um, we have like miscellaneous desserts over here. We have donuts over here. That is the Brumfields Bakery. Okay, the next one I wanted to check out is literally just next to the Brumfields Bakery. This is called Callahan's Pub and Cafe Mocha. Um, so I guess it is just a cafe and a pub right next to each other. It looks like this side is the pub, which, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. And then this side is the cafe. Um, so this is a little bit more of like a modern cafe. Um, we have a little reading nook in the back here. You have your bathrooms. Oh, I love the mirror that they added. That is so, so cute. Oh, and of course, we can't forget about safety, fire safety first. I, I wish they would make a different version of this fire whatever this is it's like fire alarm um because that is just very really ugly and tacky and it sticks out i don't know that's just me i love the colors in here though i love the blue what kind of rug is this i have never seen this beautiful rug ever that is so beautiful we have a chess table right here and tons of art on the wall we have art that um someone you know painted I love that feature. So on this side over here, we have the pub. I absolutely love the colors in here. I think this just looks like your typical pub, which I don't know really what the standard for a typical pub is, but I'd imagine that it would look something like this. I love how cluttered the walls are, how cluttered everything is. And then we have these seats right here. I literally have never seen these seats, but they have like a crown on them. I love the fireplace. And then we have a room over here that has a game table. Again, all of the clutter on the walls. We have some guitars laid out so people could play guitar. I love the mix of seating too. It's like we have love seats, we have little chairs, we have these bar stools i love the mix of seating i think that's so so cute all right next up we have the chowder house this is of course a restaurant i love the look of this i love the rustic homey feel i really really do i love this outdoor seating area i'm so excited to get into this i love all the neon lights as well i am just so impressed by this all of the decor on the wall i love these lights that they used i usually never use these type of lights but they definitely had fun with this and worked really really hard on this and it shows i love the addition of a bar as well so it's not just a restaurant your sims can go up to the bar and order a drink because i feel like that's sometimes what you see in different restaurants like sometimes there's restaurants that have full service bars and it's really realistic i like that we have more seating upstairs but we also have things to do like if your kids don't want to eat i don't know you can send them up here and <laughs> have them play games or you can just play games after you're finished i love that i like how they added a little back room for the or i'm sorry not a back room but like an outdoor area for this kitchen like where the kitchen throws their trash away that is so realistic i love that last but not least we have the harbor health club this is a spa and i'm sure there's going to be you know some other things to do a little surprise in here i don't know i feel like with all the community lots i've seen they have just blown me away so i am super excited to get into this i love the way that they do their roofing because it's just the style of their building it's not just like one main building it's like you have this section and this section and it's like all separated um so it just makes the town look beautiful and more realistic and detailed um i've said i've said that so many times like it just looks so realistic and it's true it just does i love it all right so heading down in the front of this spa here we have a seating area or lobby i guess you could say your sims can get something from the bar they can also purchase items here have some tea there are just tons of things to do i love the feature of these fish tanks and this water feature here or i think this is a water feature yeah it's a waterfall 
I love that. And we even have a gym area here, punching bags, TVs, and this beautiful pool. I love this so, so much. And again, with the hot tub, there is even a diving board. All right, so that section is the pool area and then that section is the gym area so i love that it would also be cool if there was even like a separate entrance for the gym like say if your sim just wanted to go to the gym they could just enter in this building because that would make it like even more realistic because then it would actually be two or three separate buildings i love the color scheme they went with it's like this beautiful teal ocean color and then this brown it's like a soft brown i absolutely love this it's beautiful we have some incense over here or i'm sorry that's not incense i thought that was incense that's like a little garden or zen garden whatever that is we have a separate massage room right here and then we have a deck outside where your sims can do yoga on these little platforms or whatever these are called i didn't even see this at first but this is a downstairs area and i believe it is just tons of lockers bathrooms there's even a place where your sims can take a bath and we have the sauna room right here Alrighty, so now it is time to get into the homes it looks like the only people that are residing here is the carol family i believe that's how you pronounce that um let me see if it has anything okay it doesn't have any bio or anything but yeah it just looks like that is the only people that reside in this which honestly that's fine with me sometimes i do get tired of looking at the same old townies like the goth family or i think like the spencer kim lewis families over here or the bff household <laughs> sometimes i get tired of looking at those townies so i do like having the option of having it empty so it's filled up by your sims or whatever sim you want to add in here so let's start looking at the homes i really 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 want to check out this coastal ranch over here all right so this is the coastal ranch i love the way this looks i love the fountain in the front i love how i really like how they do their landscaping it is really interesting really realistic too so let's get down into the actual build. For some reason, this home is just very refreshing. It's nice to see a home that the colors are really beautiful. It's not too cluttered. Sometimes there, it can, like there's homes that can be too cluttered. You know what I mean? Like obviously when EA builds their homes, that's no, that's not how we like it but sometimes there can be homes that creators build that are just too cluttered for me this is like right in the middle and i love it um the only thing i'm noticing that i don't like about this build is the lights i don't know if maybe that's just me maybe these were custom content and then these were like replaced i don't know if you guys download the save file let me know i'm thinking that's what it is i'm thinking these lights were just default replaced by the game i love the colors in this kitchen it's like this really interesting mint green it's not mint it's like i don't know it's just like a really pretty green and i love the wallpaper they used and we even have a big backyard area as well with the beautiful pool i love again i love their landscaping it's so so pretty okay i had to check this out this is called the hermione cottage and that is why i had to check it out because it was called hermione cottage um if you guys know i am the biggest harry potter fan so i saw that and i was like oh my gosh i'm checking this out um yeah this just looks like a cute little quaint cottage it is how many bedrooms let me see it's three bedrooms two bathrooms it is quite expensive very very expensive but that is why we have mother load <laughs> um but it looks like this is like an artist cottage this has like a little art room right here there's already some beautiful paintings up um but yeah when you walk in there just this foyer i think that's how you pronounce it um leading into the living room with an adorable fireplace i love the use of brick and it like 
almost looks like it's a part of the fireplace right here. That's very, very creative. We have a study in here with plenty of books. I love this like separated little coffee bar here. I love that. There are plenty of paintings around the house. So this is definitely a... See, even at the front, we have some here. Oh, we have like a little... What is this? Like a little Picasso? No, I'm just kidding. He, this is Trevor Verrilli. I have no clue who that is. Is that someone like related to like in The Sims games? Because I have no idea. Um, oh, we even have this really pretty picture here, or painting here in the kitchen. Oh, it's worth $957. Oh my goodness. That is probably why this house is worth so much money, because of all the paintings. Yeah. Um, and before we go upstairs, there is an outdoor seating area out here. Upstairs, we have a kid bedroom and another master bedroom. Everything about this is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They really are so creative with their walling. I don't know if that makes sense, but like they use wallpapers that I usually like never use and it just turns out beautiful. It really, really does. Okay, the next house that I wanted to check out is Aunt Joe's farm. Oh gosh, I said that so southern. <laughs> If you can't tell, I'm from the south and I say I say farm like that. Um, we have some chickens over here, but no, since we have the growing, or growing, since we have the cottage living expansion pack now, you can definitely come in here and add chickens and cows. You have definitely plenty of space for it, but this is just beautiful. This is beautiful. I'm not lying when I say that this is my dream home. Not necessarily having a farm you know, I, I do want some animals one day. I would love some chickens, but just this home is so adorable. I love this style of home. But yeah, like I said, not really much inside this area in terms of like doing stuff on the farm. But now that we have the cottage living pack, this is perfect. All right. The first thing that I noticed when I pulled down the walls is this huge kitchen this is like my dream i want a huge kitchen maybe not this style of home but that's besides the point i love this i love this build so so much this is just beautiful very very beautiful this is three bedrooms three bathrooms and it is a lot cheaper than that other cottage we just saw but yeah i really 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 appreciate the way that this person builds just very, very, very beautiful. Okay, this is the last home that I wanted to show you guys. And then, of course, I wanted to leave the rest for you guys because I didn't want to spoil it all. But I wanted to show you guys this because this is actually the cheapest home available, I believe. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure. Um, but this is a starter home. So this is called the Wyatt. I actually love the names that they have used. Like, all of the names are so creative. I'm like the worst at coming up with names. So yeah, this is a starter home. We have, it's a two bedroom, one bathroom. For a starter home, this is really, really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, we have our kids bedroom and then our master bedroom, a little bathroom right here. And this kitchen is adorable. I really like the layout of this. I love how we have like almost this mini back porch area i mean obviously there's not much you can add to it but i love how they added that they really really took their time with it you can you can really tell Alrighty, that is all from me today you guys i really hope you enjoyed this overview of blythe harbor again this is just a redo or rendition of willow creek so if you are a person who plays in willow creek a lot or if you just want to have this save file because you're planning on playing in willow creek then this is definitely an amazing save file i highly highly recommend you guys go check this out don't forget to comment your thoughts let me know what you think about this don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you all next time bye guys